Hey team, it's James from Time Quarterly. We've got a pretty cool one today, a new 7 Friday just come in. Uh, had to pull the trigger on this one, really, really excited to get to grips with it. It's the new V3, so the 7 Friday V3, the carbon dialed um, speedo or racer is the kind of nickname to go with it um, so that is what's in this box if you don't know 7 Friday then they've made um, a three different series basically this is their third series the V series they've done the P series which is here with the traditional hands they've done the M series which is here with the discs and then they've done the V series which is completely different it's just mind-blowingly different uh, and it's genuinely very difficult to tell the time the uh, uh, telling the time on the M series with these discs is quite difficult um, but telling the time on the P series is quite easy with the standard hands the normal hands but telling the time on the V series that's a whole nother ball game um, so let's open this up let's show you what the new V3 looks like let's highlight the main kind of points that we should touch on um, and yeah show you what it looks like on wrist as we do so let's open this up so this is what you'll get if you buy the V3 this is exactly what you'll find this little shipping container they've changed from the long boxes uh, that used to come with the p series and the m series um, i believe the p series and m series still do come with those boxes it's just the v series and um, also of course the new woody which comes with the uh, the new ones oh and also the um, limited edition uae edition which came out um just uh, one or two weeks back so this is what you'll get um it's got the uh, the only new thing to note, really, apart from the square design, is this NFC um, sticker on the front there. And we'll explain a little bit more about that right now, because that is the first thing that you see. They're really pushing this. So industrial skills buy. And this is basically, can I get to that? It feels 3D. Can I open it? No. Can I? I think I must be able to. Right? It looks 3D. No, maybe it's the page. No, come on. Can I get that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk damaging. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. So you can get that. Just so you know. I was gonna say I'm gonna risk damaging my book to kind of help out, but um, but yes, you can. So scan and register your watch. Cool. So they're really pushing this. So basically, um. There is a app on the App Store, Seven Friday app. Uh, you can download it, and as long as your phone is NFC compatible, um, sadly, I have an iPhone, um, and my um, uh, my uh, iPhone and all iPhones are not NFC compatible. The new iPhone 6S does have NFC, but they've locked it down, so it only deals with Apple Pay because Apple are kind of like that. So you'll have to steal your friend's Android um, to be able to actually... Um, scan and register the watch, but it's a big push from Seven Friday, um, which is really cool because they can do such things as, um, you know, sending push notifications. So if there's a new model and you want to go see the new model, they can send a push notification saying, hey, we're going to be at this bar or this club or this pub, this restaurant um, on this day, you know, on a Friday maybe, and, um, and uh, say, yeah, and so all the people in London um, where I am, uh, all the people in London, push notification, hey, come here if you want to see the new watch. And that's really cool. So just to run through, you get this awesome book explaining everything about it and with some designs. You get this um, cloth, the dust cloth with 7 Friday on. You get a load of stickers, which is kind of cool. And then you get this, which is the warranty card, but it's also got that sticker on the front, which tells you how to register your watch. So there's all the details. And then under here da -da -da -da, is the actual watch. And that is how it's displayed. It's the same for the V1 and also the V2. And so you get it like this. And if we pull it out, actually, let's not pull it out. Let's just zoom in. Let's try and do that. That'd be a little clearer for everyone, I hope. Um, and so we can take a look at the dial there. So the key differences for this 7 Friday as opposed to the others are that this one has a completely redesigned face for the V-Series. As you can see, it only goes zero to four. Um, the seconds are down here in the bottom right. And also there's a day-night indicator up here. Um, so it's kind of crazy. Um, the way that you actually tell the time. Let's, well, here you go. Let's get it out of the box first. Let's get it out of the box. Let's put it on wrist and then let's show you that way, okay? Let's do that. Because I much prefer having watches actually on the wrist rather than just shoved in a box kind of thing. So let's take it out of its little packing container. Let's put it here and then let's get a proper zoom so that everyone can see exactly what's going on with this new model. Uh, it's going to be out of focus for a second. Please excuse me. And then we will focus up. 
and get get ready for it. So here we go. So the first thing, and I think the coolest thing about this one is the carbon. Now that is genuine carbon, has been confirmed. That is genuine carbon on the dial there between and behind, should I say, the um, the naught to three, which is pretty cool. So behind there, genuine carbon. The minute hand is a lot more readable now. Before it was genuinely quite hard with the um, with the uh, P series and also the M series. It was very difficult sometimes to tell the time. This one, yes, it's a complicated system to tell the time, but that's only for the hours. And the way that I've found it is that telling the actual time on this thing while you're driving, say, is a lot easier because the minute hand is this one uh, with the cut through with red, okay? So this is telling the minute. So this is a clock, which is a little counterintuitive as it, it, on the dial it says one, but you get used to that. Uh, then this is quarter past, half past, quarter two, and then a clock again, okay? So that big red hand is super easy to read really really easy to read in low light in harsh light when you're driving just a quick glance and then you know the time because pretty much what i found for wearing this for two weeks you pretty much know the hour right you basically know roughly the hour so you're only really looking at your watch to see the minutes and that's why i think this is actually the easiest seven friday to tell the time with it's got a day night indicator which is really nice blue through to uh gunmetal gray or silver i think um no, to black. <laughs> okay, blue to black. Um, and then how you actually tell the time. Let me get it lined up for everyone here. So let's get it on a clock. Okay, we did this in our other V-Series videos, so I'll glance over it a little quicker. And if you want to see exactly how, then go on the actual video for, for reading how. But um, basically, the hour is told by this little plus sign right on the end of the eight. Okay, or even better here, that little plus sign right on the end of the four. Okay, so wherever that uh, extreme right of the uh, plus sign is pointing to, in this case it's pointing directly to four because it's a clock right it's four plus whatever else is on the dial okay so it's four plus four which is eight or it's eight plus zero which is eight so at the moment it's eight o'clock now if we roll it around that's half eight and you can see how it kind of moves on the plus sign moves on four moves out of the way eight moves around to one and then on a clock as you can see through the cut through it's bang on so it's eight plus one so it's nine and that's how you actually tell the time with this thing which is pretty cool and i really like being able to um to go out and no one having a clue what my watch is i really think that's quite cool so it obviously says seven friday here says the uh the v series and says the model number automatic it's got the same year to movement um it's got the same cut through here at seven o'clock so you can see the movement which is really cool i like that a lot um the case back is the new V series case back. If you haven't seen it before, it'll be a bit of a shock because it's very different to the PC and the M series. It actually um, shows exactly where everything is made on this globe. Um, so it says design and concept from our headquarters in uh, Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, visit 7friday.com. Construction, Hong Kong and China. And then engine made in Japan. And it's listed right here on the dial. So they're being super transparent. Not that they went before, but they literally are going over the top to tell you exactly the origins of this watch. Which is really cool. Um, 3 ATM, so water resistant, not waterproof. Uh, FSC equipped is this one here. And the FSC chip is actually hidden behind this globe here. And what that is, is uh, if you don't know, it's um, basically a chip that at the moment you can register your watch with your smartphone but they will in the future have added features where you can check into different places perhaps or you can walk up to your car and your car will know that it's you different things like that which is really cool or paying for the tube stuff like that it um oh, it's also got strap details so it's 28 to 24 millimeter which is really cool for us because we make a whole bunch of straps um in that size which is something that uh, i'll go on to next the strap is really nice in itself it's padded here um, um, like a uh, kind of like the big block with the um with the muscle car kind of padded seats which i like uh, and then the buckle is the new v-series buckle with the fast strap changer which is super cool so um why not show you exactly what this fast strap change does um and show you it in action so i'm going to pan out a little bit to give me a bit of working space and also bring in some new um, straps that we've had done um specifically for this seven friday 
So here are some of the straps that we've got made recently. We've got a really cool French theme with the red, white and blue minimal stitch on grey stingray with pearl with matching keepers. We've got the orange toad with blue aqua stitch full. We've got the uh, grey ostrich leg with orange keepers. And we've also, which I think would be the best match and specifically made for the 7 Friday V3 actually, is this black shark with full red stitch. I've got an SD card lying around. You can use pretty much anything to pop these straps out. The FSC on the new 7 Friday V series is absolutely awesome for changing straps on the go using a pen you know like me the side of an sd card because i've always got those lying around full of videos so let's take a peek at what this black shark strap looks like on the new 7 friday v3 i think it's going to look pretty sweet let's have a little zoom in to show you exactly what it looks like here that's pretty nice I reckon that will be a good strap to go for it and that's one that we might take quite a few pictures of um, to pitch on the new website when we launch it. It's got a red stingray keeper up top uh, and a black shark keeper with full red stitch. This is the French strap that we're making for a Parisian customer which looks really nice. Um, the grey stingray with pearl. Uh, we also do other types of straps. This is one of the Goyard straps, so cut from authentic Goyard bag. This is the blue, but there's available in a few different colors. Um, and that's my take on the 7 Friday V3. So I hope that that's been enjoyable. I hope it's shed a bit of light on this new watch from 7 Friday. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.